Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for January 2nd, 2024, and the very first Morning Market Prep video of 2024. Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you had a wonderful holiday and are ready to get fired up about a new year of trading. I know I am. Let's take a look at what happened overnight. We have a um, little bit of news out there uh, making some uncertainty here this morning where we have Iranian um, warships now entering the Red Sea um, after the U.S. destroyed some um, rebel uh, boats out there that were attacking our shipping lanes. Um, so we've got a new worry, and that is spiking oil prices this morning. They're pushing back higher. We also have bond yields um, rising just slightly this morning as a result of this new tension. You know, um, this is a very dangerous situation. Um, and as we continue to see more and more activity over there, we put different countries' warships together. It only requires an accident. It requires just a mistake. And we could have some serious ramifications for it. So let's keep a pretty close eye on that. If we take a look at um, Asian markets last night, Asian markets were mixed but mostly lower. We had Australian and South Korea markets higher, but we saw the Nikkei, Hong Kong, and Shanghai lower last night as China's factory activity um, slumped uh, dramatically. So um, we'll want to be keeping an eye on that. European markets um, have been trying to stay bullish, but we've got just um, the FTSE and the CAC now just slightly lower here this morning. They're still fluctuating around. And part of the reason I'm guessing that is the case is U.S. futures have been falling um, here early this morning. Um, I'm guessing with the worries um, over there in the wet Red Sea, um, adding to that problem. So what does all this mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, see if we can shake off some bias and maybe um, see how these charts are shaping up for the day and how we might want to approach uh, the market. As you can see here in the pre-market, we've got a pretty good pop and drop. They were attempting to uh, pump this higher, but that has quickly reversed today so look for a little bit of volatility here this morning um, as the market opens taking a look at what we've got going on in here notice that we've got a little bit of price support right in here if those bears um, continue to find um, reason to push on down then let's look for an area in here and if they break down through there well then our only place to go would be back down into the low side of that consolidation and possibly even a drop into this price support right in here which would be that all-time high breakout here in the diamonds so keep a close eye on that now upside remember we're blue sky above so there really is no resistance to the upside there in the diamonds but i will say after such a long run to the upside a rest a consolidation or pullback wouldn't be all that much of a surprise and then just keep in mind that we could see that breadth continuing to to decline here in the market because remember so many companies are now in their blackout period and we're about two weeks away from earnings we could really see a, a very light choppy market here for a little bit as we try to figure out can we actually support these current prices um, that we have built up um, through the fourth quarter last year. Let's take a look at our SPY now. SPY, boy, it is kind of disappointing um, that we got all dressed up and pushed real hard and, um, and still 
was not able to break the SPY to a new record high. You can see here in the chart we came ever so close and this morning we're seeing just a little bit of bearishness showing up here pushing us back down toward this area of price support. Now the key thing here is if we hold that price support, we're probably going to be okay because we're going to hold that trend. If that were to push on lower and maybe start breaking down through this area of support in the chart, we risk um, then that break of our trend. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely here. Um, a failure up here might be um, a bit of a problem uh, for the market and raise a little bit of fear. Now, if the bulls find inspiration here today and we bounce off of these areas of support in this trend, then look for that um, break, that all-time high. And I would suspect they're really going to continue to try to make that um, a possibility here, although it may be a little bit difficult to do when we... Um, realize just how much we have rallied in the market and that so many companies are now in their blackout period so watch that close now our qqq made that break we broke out here to all-time highs um, showing lots and lots of strength here in the nasdaq the magnificent seven um, a massive part of that uh, move to the upside and now we're seeing that little bit of a fade here um, pulling back now we've got a nice little support area in this chart right through here uh, with that big black candle that we put in that uh, the other day uh, on that chart is the low so let's watch this area in here and see if we can hold that area price support what you want to notice is this morning we may be giving up this upside trend and that may be just one of the first hints that we could be slipping into just a little bit of resting period in the market. It doesn't necessarily suggest a major down move is coming, but a little bit of resting after such a huge move up. And remember, we've got a lot of resting that could occur. Look how far we are away from our moving averages and that possibility that we could um, even see some kind of a protracted pullback over the next couple, three weeks to come back and test some of those um, so, uh, moving average supports uh, in the charts. Now, if we uh, jump forward here into our Russell IWM, IWM obviously had a really tough time um, here it's been resuming to the upside very parabolic in this move and we ran up here to kiss this resistance area in the chart and then didn't quite make it up there and now we'll see how we hold um, breaking some support here on friday trying to follow through here this morning perhaps we'll catch a little bit of price support right in there if that doesn't catch then we're likely coming back down to test this area of the chart remember there's a gap below that if the bears were to really get pushing and obviously we're giving up this very steep upside trend we'll want to be watching this for a little bit of trend support right in here on that area if that fails and we start filling that gap then we run that risk here in the chart that we could move on down and test some next levels of support and unfortunately we went so straight up there's not a whole lot of really good price support in there uh, which means it could be a little bit of a painful pullback if the bears kind of get going if we take a look at our VIX notice our VIX trying to make a pop here on uh, Friday trying to perk up here um, in the market but it didn't uh, didn't hold for the day they drove that right back down here into this support but you'll might want to notice here that we're not making a whole lot of progress in this uh, move there's that downtrend here in the chart and we may be trying to hold this area here as support and with a bit of bearishness that we're seeing in the pre-market here this morning don't be too surprised if we start to see that move back up now the holding a little bit of a higher low here if fear starts coming in that's where um, some real problems can could potentially perk up so watch that closely but if the bulls continue to find that relentlessness to continue to stretch these prices then we may um, see a retest of this low down here so watch that closely 
let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T21, whoops, our T2122, we did finally get a pullback on Friday from, well, just an extreme overbought situation. We have been so extreme overbought in the market. It puts us in a situation where we know that there's going to be some kind of at least a consolidation coming to absorb some of these moves because we're so stretched away from our moving averages. This exuberance has been um, way more extended than I thought it could be um, as we continue to drive and drive and drive um, the market higher. So watch this closely in here. If the bulls were to find inspiration today, then we've certainly opened an opportunity for a pop back up here in the market. And that's certainly possible the way the market has been acting. If the bears, however, continue to find that inspiration, you'll notice that we still have a very big downside opportunity that could come into the market and we'll want to be watching carefully with the bearishness that we're seeing this morning and that uncertainty of the Red Sea kind of raising some of those concerns. Now if we take a look at our uh, T2108 percentage of stocks above the 40-day moving average. We did finally see a little bit of a pullback there on Friday. You can see pulling back into this upside trend. Now, this has been just an extreme trend, and this is an extreme level for our T2108. Um, um, As you can see, anything up here in this region is an extreme overbought situation. We typically pull back from there. So don't be too surprised if we start pulling back, but remember we've got support levels in here in the chart that we can hold maybe coming back down toward that 70 area might be a possibility from kind of an extreme area but if the bulls find that inspiration there's every reason to believe that we could pump pump back up and retest some areas in the chart up here so watch that closely now our t2107 whoops our T2107, as you can see, also very extended here in the short term. Pumped up here pretty high, saw a little bit of selling, and, and, and honestly, I'd have a little bit more worry on um, um, kind of the small caps right now because of the extreme um, overextension. That straight up parabolic move puts it at pretty high risk of a substantial pullback if the bears were to get going. But that being said, this is still in a bullish upside trend looking very, very bullish overall. We've got support levels below here around 60 area in that chart. So if the bulls find inspiration, let's see if we can attack up in here. If the bears find inspiration, let's see if we attack down in this area of the chart. I'd be watching carefully for this very extreme rally. If we start breaking that trend, we could see a little bit of fear come into the market. And then if we take a look at our T2101, T2101 is the absolute breadth index of the market. And essentially, it's the momentum of the market. And what we have seen here is momentum has held up pretty good overall, but on Friday, we did reverse back down this relentless buying that's been going on and the fact that corporate buybacks are ending here um, as we head toward earnings. We're likely to see the market breadth decline. We'll want to watch that closely. Now, where this could be a real problem is if the bears really pick up here. If the bears were to really pick up and we see the breadth expand on a bearish move, that could be a bit of a problem for us, and it could mean more of a substantial decline coming rather than a consolidation. I'm not going to say that's going to be the case. I certainly don't know the future, but we'll want to watch carefully for that if we do see the bears really pick up here in the breadth increasing on a bearish wave. Now, if we continue to see what we have been seeing, maybe just this little bit of decline, a little bit of choppiness here, maybe we just slip into more of a resting consolidation here in the market. So watch carefully on T2101. 
Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today. Now, our economic calendar, we have got a very light day with just a couple of things to be paying attention to. Um, we've got a PMI uh, manufacturing number to be watching. Now, PMI is one of those things that we have largely ignored for a long time. Um, remember, with a PMI manufacturing number, anything above 50 shows us that we're expanding um, some expansion in uh, PMI. So we want to be above 50. We have languished below 50 for so long, the market just doesn't care. Um, the consensus is looking for a 48.2 here in PMI. So watch that close. And then construction spending. Construction spending will be interesting today. We've got a 0.6 expected. The prior was 0.6. Consensus is suggesting that stays flat. Um, looking on beyond that, we've got um, some bond auctions here to be paying attention to, particularly with those um, bond yields pushing up just a little tiny bit here today. Then um, as we move into the rest of the week, you can see we've got mortgage applications. That's normal on Wednesday. ISM manufacturing is a big number for us. Job openings report. Um, the FOMC minutes will be coming out. We've got ADP report coming in here, jobless claims. Um, we've got natural gas and petroleum status on Thursday. And then on Friday, we're going to be rolling into that um, employment situation number, which obviously is one of those numbers that we uh, will really be paying attention to. And we might actually start seeing the unemployment um, situation starting to creep up here just a little bit with some of the layoffs we've been hearing about. So factory orders, ISM services, and we've got the Fed in there to talk. So yippee ki yay -yay, here comes the Fed again to uh, jazz up the markets and add some volatility for us. Let's, <laughs> let's take a look at um, um, some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also um, click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, and that would be click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. I truly, truly appreciate the kindness and support that everyone has shown the channel. You guys are awesome. Um, be kind of careful um, today because there's a good chance volume could be uh, on the light side, remember, a lot of folks will be kind of extending their vacations for the holiday. And, and, and with no notable earnings for today, there really isn't a whole lot for the market to get too particularly excited about uh, for the day. So with that, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. And remember, everyone, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security you need to be doing your own due diligence be very very focused here on price action of the market because if we start to break this trend we really could see fear starting to pick up here in the market um, and, and and that's not odd after such an extraordinary run to the upside um, that's that's just not odd so kind of keep an eye on that and to kind of start things off let's take a look at um, Apple here Apple dropping hard here this morning um, adding some concerns um, again we'll want to watch these tech giants pulling back pretty strongly here this morning so watch that carefully that could have um, an adverse effect on the market and really raise some concern here so um, um, Apple looking pretty bearish here in the pre-market now um, Let's take a look. NVIDIA also showing a little bit of bearishness. Um, Google showing a little bit of bearishness this morning. Meta showing a little bit of pre-market bearishness. AMD uh, showing that bearishness. So we may be seeing, you know, where those corporate buybacks are um, having to end because of 
uh, where things uh, are as far as earnings coming up. We'll want to watch these carefully. If they start pulling back hard, it's going to be really difficult for the market to stay bullish. Now, another area you're going to want to be paying attention to here this morning, and that's going to be energy. As you've heard me talk about before, this rally here in energy um, could create the higher low in here and begin the upside trend. And with what we're starting to see in the Red Sea, that nervousness going on here, we might see these oil prices continuing to push back higher. Now, remember, oil prices are a very massive part of the calculation for inflation. If we start to see these spike back up, that could be really problematic for the Fed here and this idea that we're going to immediately start cutting rates could be a problem here if we actually start seeing those prices going back up. So watch that carefully in here. And there are quite a few stocks in here. Um, one of the best right now is Phillips 66. Phillips is just looking incredible. PSX, as you can see, moving strongly here to the upside, holding some support, showing a bullish pattern here. Phillips may have some more upside opportunity. Take a look at some of the refiners in here, Valero energy there's that possibility we broke through some resistance we've come back to find it as support seeing a little bit of bullishness here in the pre-market keep an eye on Valero for that possibility of a move to the upside here could be on the way so watch that close we are also seeing um, um, TLT TLT has been one of those big winners for me here uh, coming up out of this bottom feeling a little bit of pressure here this morning as those bond yields going back up here this needs a rest or pullback so this is not a surprise and it needs to occur to to have a little bit of rest the question is is it going to collapse all the way back down with um, concerns um, there in the Red Sea and energy prices running higher. We'll want to watch that pretty closely here. A little bit of fear may be coming in on the market. Now, that's having an opposite effect on some of our precious metals. We've got gold trying to bounce just a little bit here this morning. So keep an eye on gold. Keep an eye, for those of you who trade Bitcoin, you might want to keep an eye on that. Um, as we see a little bit of fear maybe creeping into the market, some of the precious metals could look good. You might even want to be keeping an eye on stocks like FCX here and copper pushing up. You might want to look at things like Newmont Mining, Newmont holding this higher low in here, possibly looking um, for some upside. Even things like Alcoa have been running strongly to the upside. We'll want to watch that carefully here to see if it can extend and break through some of this resistance in the chart as we see some of those commodity prices move higher. Another one um, I'm kind of interested in right now is wheat. As you can see, wheat holding this higher low in the chart, we're obviously going to continue to need wheat. And if we see um, issues in currencies and uh, fear rising up and worries about the expansion of these wars let's watch that closely for that opportunity that wheat could break through that resistance here to the upside and continue moving strongly other places to continue to to look uh, you got to like the way american tower has been performing continuing to hold up strong in here this little resting consolidating pattern in here could set itself on up for that move higher i've also been seeing Seeing some of the defensive sector stocks uh, trying to come around. Coca-Cola being one of those pushing back up here, breaking through some resistance and maybe trying to rest. Remember, this is a reversal back up. If it can hold, a, if it can hold a higher low, um, that'll be something to watch here in the market. I was taking a look um, at a bunch of stocks this weekend. Hershey, Hershey's lagged way behind everything else here, but one of the notable things Things, as you can see breaking through this downtrend here is important first step and if we can deal with this resistance in the chart 
that rest or pullback may be an opportunity there to the upside. Um, you'll want to keep in mind it's just right there below its 50 day moving average. A pop through there puts us in what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern and we could see some upside potentially coming if that can hold in here. Now we've certainly seen stocks like Colgate Palmolive be really, really strong, popping through resistance. Any rest or pullback in here, I think, sets up a possible opportunity to the upside. So you might want to keep an eye on some of those more old defensive stocks. And speaking of old, boring companies, take a look at 3M. 3M's been a beautiful upside trend, breaking this very long-term downtrend in the chart. Um, this rest right up above this support area sets up that next opportunity opportunity potential for that upside move there in 3M. Keep an eye on that. And nothing different than what we had seen in stocks like Honeywell. That little resting pattern back to trend and there was my alert stretched right on up to the next resistance level in the chart. So keep an eye on charts like that. They look pretty darn good. Last but not least here, let's keep an eye on Chewy. Chewy had a big move to the upside and we're seeing some of these specialty retail uh, picking up here a bit. Now this is a very extended move and probably needs a bit more of a rest, but we know people are gonna continue to, to spend money to feed their pets, even if they have to cut back on a lot of other things. Um, so keep an eye on Chewy. You might keep an eye on Pinterest in here. It's been very, very strong. And um, I think Etsy um, has that potential that we could hold some support in here uh, might be more range bound here for a while but watch that closely so there's a few stocks for you to look at here today be kind of careful don't get too carried away today no need to rush because again there's probably a lot of folks going to be um, not trading today um, i myself good chance um, i won't be trading anything today so just because the volume's likely going to be a little bit on the funky side. We'll see. You never know. But with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Again, welcome back. Happy New Year. I want to wish you all the best. And I'll see you right back here, bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a great day, everyone.